Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we have an interesting topic to discuss, one that affects all of us, the need for food licenses in India. But before we dive into that, did you know that India boasts an incredible number of street food vendors? It's a culinary paradise out there, but it also brings about some important concerns. Food is an integral part of our daily lives, but its safety and quality are of paramount importance. In India, food licensing is governed by several laws and regulations to ensure the well-being of consumers and the growth of the food industry. India's streets are lined with vendors serving mouth-watering delicacies from crispy samosas to spicy chaat and delectable dosas. It's a true food lover's paradise. But have you wondered who's ensuring the safety and quality of all that delicious street food? Well, that's where food licenses come into play. One of the primary authorities overseeing food safety and licensing in India is the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India or FSSAI. FSSAI sets the standards for food products, ensures their safety and regulates the licensing of food businesses. There are various types of licenses issued by FSSAI depending on the scale and nature of the food business. Food labeling is another critical aspect of food licensing. Labels must provide accurate information on ingredients, nutritional values and allergens. Food handlers and businesses must also undergo food safety training to ensure they follow hygienic practices. Non-compliance with food laws can lead to severe penalties including fines and imprisonment to deter unsafe practices. By adhering to food licensing regulations, businesses ensure the safety of the food they produce, leading to healthier and happier consumers. The food industry encompasses a spectrum of activities from the production of ingredients to the processing and distribution of finished products. These activities are integral to the food supply chain, underscoring the critical need for stringent regulations. So, why do we need these laws? Simply put, they exist to protect you, the consumer. These laws create a framework that governs how food is produced, distributed and consumed. They are the guardians of food safety and quality, essential for a healthy and thriving society. Food licenses are like the guardians of our gastronomic adventures. Here's why they are so crucial. First, public health and safety. First and foremost, food licenses are essential to guarantee that the food you're enjoying is safe to eat. They ensure that vendors follow proper hygiene and food handling practices. Food licensing ensures that food businesses adhere to safety and hygiene standards, reducing the risk of foodborne illness and contamination outbreaks that could harm public health. Second, quality control. Licensing helps maintain the quality of food products by regulating production processes, ingredients and labeling. This ensures consumers receive safe and genuine food items and also ensures that the food you buy meets certain quality standards. No one wants to be served subpar, adulterated or expired food. Third, consumer protection. Licensing helps consumers make informed choices by providing accurate information about the food they purchase, including nutritional content and allergen information. Traceability. Licensing requires businesses to maintain records and traceability systems, which can be crucial in tracking and addressing food safety issues such as recalls. Economic development. Properly licensed food businesses contribute to the economy by creating jobs, generating revenue and fostering innovation in the food industry. Legal compliance. Food licensing ensures that businesses comply with local, national and international food safety regulations, protecting both consumers and the industry from legal consequences. India's Food License Regulations India takes its food safety seriously, and that's evident in the regulations in place. Vendors, whether they are operating on the streets or in restaurants, must obtain food licenses to legally sell food. It ensures that our standards align with global best practices, enhancing the quality and safety of our food. The Legal Framework Now, let's talk about the legal aspect. India has a comprehensive set of laws and regulations governing the food industry. These laws act as a touchstone, emphasizing proper sanitation, licensing and permits that businesses in the food industry must adhere to. At the heart of this regulatory framework stands the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India or FSSAI. This body plays a pivotal role in setting the bar for food standards in our country. It's the guardian of our food quality, diligently working to maintain excellence. But before we dive into the FSSAI era, let's explore the historical backdrop and pivotal legal milestones that have shaped India's approach to food safety. 
The journey begins with a landmark moment in 2001 when the Supreme Court addressed the heart-wrenching issue of hunger amidst plenty in India. This came in response to a writ petition filed by the People's Union of Civil Liberties, highlighting deaths due to starvation despite an abundance of food in stock. The court emphasized the right to food as an intrinsic part of the right to life, a fundamental right guaranteed by the Indian Constitution. Let's continue our exploration of India's food safety landscape by delving into the myriad laws and regulations that govern the standards of food products in our country. From the Food Safety and Standards Act 2006 to other pertinent laws each play a crucial role in ensuring the quality and safety of the food we consume. Now let's have a look at the framework of food laws. At the heart of our food safety regime lies the Food Safety and Standards Act 2006. Along with the accompanying Food Safety and Standards Rule 2011 and the Food Safety and Standards Regulations spanning from 2011 to 2019, this comprehensive framework harmonizes various food-related issues that were previously scattered across different ministries and departments. The birth of the FSSAI. Before the inception of the Food Safety and Standards Act 2006, India had a patchwork of food laws. These included acts like the Prevention of Food Adulteration Act 1954 and various orders covering specific food products. However, the FSS Act marked a transformative moment as it consolidated these laws under one roof. The FSSAI's pivotal role. This body emerged as the linchpin of this food safety revolution. It was tasked with ensuring that food safety standards were met across the board. No longer were these standards fragmented. They were streamlined and enforced uniformly. It's essential to understand that the role of a regulatory body like the FSSAI extends beyond mere enforcement. It's about safeguarding the fundamental rights of every individual, rights that include access to safe and nutritious food. These laws don't exist in isolation, but as guardians of public health and safety. The FSSAI isn't just a regulatory body, it's a proactive force that regulates, monitors and promotes awareness about food safety across India. In an important update regarding food safety in India, the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India has issued a crucial advisory. They have urged both food vendors and consumers to immediately cease using newspapers for packing, storing and serving food items. This decision is based on the concern that the ink used in newspapers contains certain chemicals that can pose various health risks. The FSSAI's warning emphasizes the potential health hazards associated with using newspapers in direct contact with food. It underscores the importance of safeguarding public health and highlights that these chemicals in newspaper ink can pose significant risks. This latest advisory serves as a reminder that safety measures are constantly refined to protect the well-being of all consumers. From a scattered legal landscape to the establishment of the FSSAI, it's a testament to our commitment and ensuring that every Indian has access to safe and healthy food. So, the next time you savor a meal, remember the dedicated efforts made to uphold your right to food. Coordinating with other laws But the story doesn't end there. India's commitment to food safety extends to multiple other laws. For instance, Section 272 of the Indian Penal Code 1860 specifically addresses food adulteration and is undergoing potential amendments to enhance penalties for violators. Complementary Laws Other laws like the Legal Metrology Act 2009 ensure standards of weights and measures in trade. The Insecticides Act 1968 safeguards the use of pesticides in agriculture. Meanwhile, the Environment Protection Act 1986 ensures that food plants maintain environmental standards. The Consumer Protection Act 2019 is particularly significant for food business operators as it focuses on consumer rights and remedies. Understanding these rights is essential for those involved in the food industry to ensure compliance with consumer law, standards and certification. In addition to government regulations, voluntary standards and certification processes such as those set by the Bureau of Indian Standards and the Directorate of Marketing and Inspection play a pivotal role in maintaining food quality and safety. Constitutional significance. The Indian constitution places tremendous importance on public health and the well-being of its citizens. It's a cornerstone that obligates the government to enact and enforce laws that regulate the food sector. This commitment is rooted in the belief that a healthy nation begins with access to nutritious food. 
within the indian constitution the directive principles of state policy lay down various obligations for the government these principles emphasize improving nutrition levels and raising the standard of living of the people in summary india's food safety ecosystem is a comprehensive tapestry of laws and regulations from the fssai's vigilant oversight to various complementary laws these measures collectively ensure that the food we consume is not only delicious but also safe and of high quality in summary food licensing plays a vital role in safeguarding public health ensuring food quality and promoting economic growth while maintaining legal and safety standards in the food industry let's delve into crucial prerequisites for launching a food business in india Starting with obtaining a food license from the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, FSSAI stands as the supreme authority overseeing and regulating food safety in India. This licensing process is governed by the Food Safety and Standards Regulation 2011 Act. The FSSAI license is a fundamental requirement for all food business operators, irrespective of their scale, ensuring food quality, purity, safety and consumer trust. Acquiring the FSSAI registration certificate can be accomplished either offline or online. In the offline method, food business owners need to submit an application to the licensing authority along with the required fees. However, the more convenient and hassle-free route is to obtain the license online through the FSSAI system and may differ from state to state across the country. The type of license a business needs depends on its annual turnover. There are three categories of FOSCOS food licenses. First one is basic FSSAI license. This is essential for small scale food business operators, often referred to as the basic FSSAI license, applicable for businesses with an annual turnover of less than rupees 12 lakhs. Typically, this category includes petty retailers, itinerant vendors, hawkers, and temporary stall holders. state fssai license required for businesses with an annual turnover ranging from rupees 12 lakhs to rupees 20 crores this turnover threshold applies to both fssai state manufacturing and fssai state trading licenses central fssai license mandatory for businesses with an annual turnover exceeding rupees 20 crores this applies to trading manufacturing or storage operations beyond specific limits stipulated by relevant regulations We will take you through the step-by-step procedure to obtain a food license in India, whether you are starting a restaurant, food manufacturing unit, or any food-related businesses. Understanding this process is crucial. Let's dive right in. Step one: Begin by obtaining the necessary application forms. You can find these forms on the official website of the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. Step 2 Gather the required documents including identity proof address proof and documents related to your business entity such as incorporation certificate or partnership deed Step 3 Submit your application and documents to the nearest FSSAI regional office or through their online portal along with the applicable fees Step 4 After submitting your application FSSAI may schedule an inspection of your premises to ensure compliance with food safety standards Step 5 Cooperate with FSSAI officials during the inspection ensure that your premises meets hygiene and safety requirements Step 6 Once your application is approved and your premises passes inspection you'll receive your FSSAI license. Congratulations. You are now legally allowed to operate your food business. Step 7. Display your FSSAI license prominently at your business location and make sure your employees are aware of food safety protocols. Step 8. Remember your FSSAI license has an expiry date. Upon successful registration, food business operators are issued a unique 14 digit FSSAI license number. The validity of this license varies, ranging from 1 year to 5 years. It's essential to note that failing to register with FSSAI can result in penalties under the Food Safety and Standards Act 2006. Make sure to renew it on time to avoid any legal issues. Obtaining an FSSAI license is not just a legal requirement but a vital step in ensuring the quality, safety and trustworthiness of food products in the Indian market. It's a commitment to consumer well-being and a cornerstone of the food industry's responsibility. And there you have it, the step-by-step procedure to obtain a food license in India. It's a vital step in ensuring the safety and quality of food products in the country. While these regulations are crucial, there are challenges especially for street food vendors. They often face bureaucratic hurdles and may not always be aware of the requirements. 
but these licenses despite the challenges are designed to protect both vendors and consumers if you are a food business owner or consumer with concerns don't hesitate to reach out to fss ai for guidance or to report issues in conclusion Food licensing in India is not just a legal requirement it's a commitment to quality safety and the well-being of all stay informed stay safe and enjoy your food responsibly so there you have it food licenses in India aren't just about paperwork they are about ensuring that the culinary experiences we all cherish are safe and of high quality whether it's the vendors on the streets or your favorite restaurants these licenses play a vital role in maintaining the standards we all deserve in conclusion food laws in india are not just red tape they are the foundation of food safety quality and consumer protection they ensure that every morsel you savor is safe and of superior quality contributing to a healthier and happier life the next time you enjoy a meal remember the dedicated efforts behind the scenes to make it safe and delicious if you like this video please share subscribe and hit the like button until the next time